So we'll start this one with some bad news on Paringa. Um, for some reason, the GoPro just didn't record audio in there, which is a bit of a bugger. But looking back at it, Paringa was a bit of a special one. So we'll try and drop some clips over the top here and I'll explain a couple of little different things. Uh, Paringa was, it's a bit of a special one because it's wholly owned and, and donated by Yates Electrical Group, which are the small company next door to the silos who bought the silos and donated it to the Shire Council, I guess the silo project, and also donated $10,000 into the project as well. So by looking at that, I'm guessing Yates really does have a big passion for the history of his little town there, Paringa. And I highly recommend checking out the Paringa silos online to read the story on, and the history, I guess, on the four faces, the four local legends, I guess, of Paringa on these silos. And for all this to be done by, I guess, a private company, private person, private company, really says a lot about Paringa and I guess how much they love the history of Paringa. Uh, it's a beautiful town, we'll definitely be back there, but it's just, I'm spewing that we lost all the audio with that because it was a really, I guess, information packed little area. The whole little information bay was just explained everything, each different face on the silos, background, the history about them, a lot of work had been put in there and it's just good that it was done privately. Really says a lot about the small town of Paringa. So this is silo art number four, Waikuri, I believe it is. And there's not too much information. There's a couple little panels on the fence down there, but it's gale force winds as well we just chucked the drone up and even that struggled in the sky there so we'll go for a quick walk around try and get some little information panels but there is a we can't really see it here the river runs straight along here and there's a bit of a river cliff walk that goes the whole way along here so a nice little spot and it looks like they're putting in a lot of work as well it's all brand new mulch a couple of piles of dirt over there, so they're doing it right up. So there it is, the Wakery Cliff Top Walk. Full return walk, three and a half kilometres. Should be an interesting little walk by the pictures there. But anyway, we'll have a look at this silo and probably keep moving on just because it's so windy here and um, we want to try and get as close as we can to the third one, if not see the third one for today. And it looks like two different artists, Gary Duncan on the left hand side and Jimmy... someone? Jimmy DeVate? Not too sure, we'll see what we can find on the information there. So he's got on there, healthy river, healthy community. Which is, and a little skeleton up there on the second window, just in the purple there. That's really good, that one there. The Murray Hardy had the painting pretty spot on to that picture. Which is, that's another image, it's nationally endangered freshwater fish. Yabbies. Jimmy DeVite, 
Melbourne based artist and graphic designer and his large scale artworks can be seen on silos and walls across the country and the world So 2018, by two individual artists and 500 litres of paint. So the spiny daisy, not too sure where, that, that's it there at the bottom. There are only six genetic individuals left in the wild. program to replenish the critically endangered species started at Bamrock Station east of Waikri in 2014. But that's an incredible painting of that parrot there. Almost 30 metres tall. The Regent Parrot. It's even got it up there. Jimmy DeVate Regent Parrot. Their numbers are in decline. So it's another good one, this one, with plenty of parking as well. I mean, you can tell they're spending a fair bit of time and money doing this up. Um, to have that little river view as well. So a good spot, but we'll keep on moving and try and get as close as we can to the, to the next one, which I'm guessing Sosh knows where she's going because I've got no idea. Righto, so that is Waikari third tower, fourth tower. Fourth tower, done. Uh, just a bugger about the wind. Couldn't really hear myself think. Couldn't really do anything. Hat was blown away. But uh, another sort of town that's a lot bigger than we thought as well. Um, and another one we'll try and get back to as well. But we're heading off to Owen. Yep. And hopefully we can find a shower as well along the way. I believe there is this paid one though. Ooh, paid shower. $1 all right we'll uh we'll get on the road head towards there i don't know if we're going to see that tonight or tomorrow morning probably tomorrow morning by the time we get there uh see how we go yep but it's uh it's three o'clock now so probably put the oven on soon get the wrist holes in there right right let's hit the road hit the road So, a quick stop in Barossa Valley. Valley. Barossa Valley. Uh, had a quick shower, a dollar shower for three minutes. Mine went for pretty much three minutes, yours. Mine went longer, I had to turn it off myself, I was getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hot showers, nice and clean, new sort of yeah, building. Um, they are building a lot of new stuff here, but saying that we are keeping on moving, we're not stopping here, we're just going to come in here to get washed up fill our water up and keep on going. So we're all done, aren't we? Just gonna find some water mm -hmm. and find a camp. Yeah. <laughs> right, eh? and we're not gonna to get to the third silo today. I think it's gonna be a bright and, bright and early morning tomorrow. Yeah, we're getting near there. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's get into it, find some water and get back on the road. So, turns out we did make it. We are here in Owen, and it's just gonna be a little camp spot. There's an oval just over the back that we're hopefully gonna be able to camp at. 
But there she is, and that's impressive, that one. I did want to check it out too this afternoon, just in case the sun rises in a different sort of area and it doesn't look as good. But I don't think we'll get the drone up, just as there's a fair bit of wind getting around. But that's really impressive, that one. The colours are just wicked. <laughs> So this art here depicts uh, the early years of farming in the district and paying tribute to the tragic war years where uh, at great personal and community cost farmers and farm labourers from this district exchanged selling and loading grain field bags to, for market to shouldering sand field bags to line the battle trenches in Gallipoli and France. The memorial nearby lists the names of the men of Owen who died in both world wars. I believe down there. We'll go for a walk down there in a minute. So a couple of little bits of information on the silos. There's a little 100 metre walk, a map of the township, and some information on the artwork, the artists. So I believe it was designed by Robert Hannaford. And the artists, uh, Robert Hannaford, and Cam Scale, and I believe it was designed by Robert Hannaford in consultation with the Owen Silo Art Committee. And then mural painters Cam Scale transferred Robert's design from paper to silo using grids and then blocked in the initial design. The artists painted together during the final two weeks to complete the silo art. And from what it says there is it was all recorded on film, you can scan that with your phone, which I don't know where my phone is, somewhere down the seats, falling down the cracks of the car. But it'll be an interesting little video, I'm guessing. So the town of Owen was established in 1878 with the building of the Hamley Bridge Balaclava Railway Line. Named after John Owen, a local and landowner. And prior to the railway being built, European settlers had been farming in the area back to the 1850s. With a population of around 400, it's fairly stable around 75 students attending the primary school. And the final journey along the, the railway line was taken in 2005. Some cracking pictures here as well. Oh, no, this is going to do us. This is a free camp just over the back of the silos there. Uh, 72 hours, is it free camp? Yeah. Yep. 
and you can pretty much park wherever you want around the oval. And that's about it. There's a little, I don't know, is that a polo cross or something? Ring. But toilets over there and a little shelter, grandstand, something like that. But we've parked up here just because it is windy and we're using this tank as a bit of a windbreak. So hopefully that works out all right. Anywho, time for a beer. We got wrist holes on. You just chucked some rice in there, didn't you? <laughs> so that little cooker's getting a workout again and the solar is well it's doing all right actually we'll check the 12.6 and for some reason that fridge or well, brass monkey fridges read a volt low so we're looking pretty good 13.6 and what other things are oh, the rope around the roof rack did not work no, it did a little bit <laughs> I think we're just used to the whistle now, but it didn't work out that well. Still a little bit of a whistle there. Other than that, everything's looking pretty good. The, wow, this thing's going all right. We're a little bit on the piss there, but that'd be right. How did you go? No loss, no game. <laughs> Look, at, Look at you, your proudest punch. I well, so she just weighed herself and hasn't put anything on after a little weekend in Adelaide there. Pizza Hut Nando's. Uh, this market. The yeah. Donut, the churros. <laughs> we had a low. But anyway, um, very cold morning here in Owen, isn't it? And we've got a hitchhiker. <laughs> we have a mouse in the car, guys. Um, so, sitting here last night editing, editing the movie, the uh, Broken Hill film, uh, I was just sitting in the car off, no sound or anything. I was hearing a scratching sound and narrowed it down to the toilet roll that we keep here. And then sort of thought nothing of it. But then I put the camera there with the torch on it just to see if I could find anything, nothing there. So I sat there and waited for a bit, heard the scratching again, quickly ran around the corner with the flashlight out, opened the door and there's a little mouse sitting there looking at me. Who then raced off under the seat, but. Yeah, you just, that, you just looked at it, you didn't grab it. No, I'm not that quick. <laughs> <laughs> so it did run up the seat there somewhere. So I think sometime today, we're gonna have to find some mouse traps. Cause it's not a good hitchhiker. There's no think about it. We have to find them. <laughs> we got to get gas as well for that little cooker. But that's a bit of a, um, well, a bit of excitement, isn't it? No. <laughs> so we've got to get rid of that little mouse uh, before he wrecks havoc. Yeah, because he'll bite into the wires. And yeah. Stuff. Yep. So we'll have a quick cuppa and then I guess hit the road. I just might have some cereal. What do you got? Muffin. Do you want a muffin? No. No. No muffin. We'll do that. We'll have a cuppa. Get on the road. And then uh, check out the silo in the morning here. Which I was hoping there was going to be sunshine for it. But I don't know. We'll see if we can get the drone up. I did want to get the drone up as well. But it's just freezing cold and windy again. So we'll see how we go. Well, that's going to do us this one. What's your thoughts on this one? I won. Yeah, I like it. It's good, that one. Is it finished though? Yeah. It is. It is, yep. It represents the farmers filling the... Sandbags. The... I'll get to that. <laughs> represents them filling the wheat into the bags, young farmers, and then filling the sandbags for the war. You understand that? I do understand. <laughs> but anyway, this is a really nice one, this one. Um, hopefully we've got a good picture with the drone today because I'm spewing. I didn't get it up yesterday with the sunlight, but we'll get over it. Anyway, where are we off to now? I think it's Yudunda and then Feral Flat and then we can't do much more because we've got Claire tomorrow. Yep. 
And you want to do a winery tonight or? Let's see. Maybe we'll see. tonight, yeah. Yep, we'll have a look at that. But anyway, good little one this one. But we'll hit the road and move on. Righto, this is stop number six. Yeah, I think so. Five, six? Six. Six. But this is Udunda. And we're not too sure where to park, so we're just sort of parked up there and taking a walk along here. But there is another little lookout just up on top of that hill. We'll see if we can get to as well. But this is Udunda. I'm not too sure what to expect here. Looks like they might be building something here as well because there's not really that much information they've got a little pallet with his instagram name and what have you but there she is i'm not too sure how old it is because there's no real information we'll have to do a little google but the artist is sam brooks and yeah you know, can't really tell you that much so i don't really know about this So by the looks of it, they are building stuff here. We're all getting ready to build something here. This is all brand new grass. They've got the fences up there and there's a little driveway down there. So one day, this will be a good little spot here because that's a nice little water tank. It's just a nice little view here. So we've come up to the lookout and it's a quick little walk just up these steps. It does keep going up to the top there, which I'm not gonna go up there. Um, there's a nice little chair here and a nice view. But what we can find out is Sam Brooks has only just completed this, the end of October, 2021. And it looks like they're only just starting the, I guess the groundworks and all the information panels on it now. But an awesome little, I guess, viewing spot here to view the silos from a distance. Uh, not too many other silos that we've been to so far you can view from a distance. Um, but saying that, they are building the little information panels down there now. I will give it one thing, it's windy here and it's cold, even cold down there. It sort of funnels through there the wind. But we'll try and get the drone up, try and get a nice little picture as well. And then go from there, see what Sosha's doing. She's back in the warmth down there in the car. So Udunda here, this one's just beautiful art, but not fully completed yet. The grounds, the information not yet done. And the biggest pain as well is the sun. I think we've come at the wrong time. We come in the morning here, well, midday, and the best time to see it would be afternoon, late afternoon. Um, but I mean, we'll get over that. We'll have to come back here. Hopefully when we do come back here, it's all completed because it, be good to hear or good to see all the information that the previous sort of silos put on theirs here the history of Udunda and the meaning of those paintings righto what's your thoughts there on Udunda I like it. it's really good isn't it it's just a bugger that sun's in the wrong spot for my little camera like the way that the the sheep you see the sheep yeah like in the sun it's just, <laughs> no, it's just amazing. yeah it's a good little one this one um just needs to be done up as well or finished sorry completed um but anywho we're off to Farrell Flats. Flats which is how far 45, 45. minutes cool right -o. and we did manage to get some mouse traps for um you've named it Helen 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 the mouse 
<laughs> Helen's gonna get done over by one of these, I think. We didn't wanna get um, baits or anything, just in case it did die somewhere in the car and stunk the car out. Um, so we'll see how these go. Hopefully we can catch Helen. <laughs> if you're listening, yeah, you escape while you can. You little mouse. <laughs> So stop number seven is the township of Farrell Flat and the silos are just up there. We'll get to that in a minute, but we thought we'd have a little stop here and look at the little information, I guess, hut. But a small town, Farrell Flat. And what's interesting is this Farrell Flat was originally called Hanson after Sir Richard Davies Hanson. And its name was changed to Farrell's Flat in the 1880s after Dean James Farrell, second colonial chaplain, one evening capsized into a creek near here and became stranded for the night. The apostrophe S was deleted in the mid-1940s. Interesting little story. An interesting little, I guess, main street there. The Fruiterers. It's a nice little building and well kept. So there we have it, and that is probably that's probably one of the best, isn't it? I was literally about to call it. Yeah. Favorite one so far. Yeah, it is. That's incredible that one. It's right across the road from the Farrell Flat Hotel. So that'd be an ideal thing to do, wouldn't it? Kick back, have a beer, and look at that. That's very striking, that one. Colours are just stunning. Hello, horse. So what we can find on this one is completed in November 2020, and it's the ninth instalment in South Australia of the Silo Arts. And it depicts the last train to pass through this historic township. Local Adelaide artists Jared Soden and Matthew Knight spent around 140 hours painting the 30 metre tall silo. So interesting story there. Uh, it's probably uh, my favourite, yours? So far, it's, it's just the attention to detail is incredible there. Hello. How you doing? So no real information here on this silo art. Um, everything was sort of found online on Google there. Which is a bit of a shame because that's probably the best one we've seen and you know, a little plaque or something would be good there. Well this is going to do us here, we're halfway, just over halfway. <laughs> On number 7 of 13 is it? Yeah. Uh, so just over halfway and we're going to end it on the best one we reckon. Yeah. So far. So far. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it because we're enjoying checking these out and I guess we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you then. Thanks guys. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Helen, Helen hasn't said goodbye yet. <laughs> well, Helen the little mouse. First. We'll give you an update on Helen in the next video. <laughs> and we're not too sure. Fly went in my ear. The mouse. <laughs>
Do you want to pat it? We could tuck this in the car as well. With a little Helen. Mouse and a horse. <laughs> and a fly buzzing around. 